delighted to be joined in the studio now by the Manchester Evening News Assistant Sports Editor, Chris Ostick. Chris, thank you very much uh, for joining us once again. We're all in cricket fever, of course, uh, yeah, during the summer, yes. if we can call it summer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the weather has played quite a, a vital part, hasn't it? Certainly, of course, in the ashes. We had no action on Saturday, but uh, back in action today. And um, although Australia started off well, um, England came back and they got two wickets in the first uh, first hour, wasn't it? First two yes, hours. That's and it right. looked to be right. looking very good for England. It did. They just went out of time, really. I mean, Australia have put up good resistance today and, and showed that there's still a little bit of fight left in this series. Um, so it's, it's disappointing, but they'll, they'll go to Headingley later on this week. England still with a, with a great chance of wrapping up the Ashes. How will they view today's draw, do you think, England? I mean, they obviously wanted a victory, didn't they, to go 2-0 two two up in the series, yeah. but uh, how will they view that? I think probably a chance missed, really, because it's not often you get Australia on the rack, which is what we did have. Uh, it's just a show out Saturday that the whole whole day was washed out because because this could have been a cracking test match all over again. Um, so I think a, a, a chance missed. I think the, the key factor now is Andrew Flintoff as to whether he's going to be fit in time to, to get to Headingley with, with back-to-back tests. He's been struggling today, he's, he's had a bit of a fall and he's, he, he just looks like he's, he's in a bit of agony now. Um, now, whether they can clear that up within three days is, is the big test and, and England have to decide either risk him at Headingley or rest him and, and get him ready for the Oval for the last test. How would you rate his performance? Because, of course, it was touch and go whether he was going to play in this, yeah. uh, in this third test. Yeah. Um, and then yesterday he was, uh, he, he, he was the highest scorer with 74. Absolutely. So it's kind of swings and roundabouts with him, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's, he's been typical Freddie, really. I mean, he's, he's not been the greatest of, of tracks wicket-wise for him to bowl on. I mean, he's been swinging a lot, which is why Jimmy Anderson got all the wickets and Grey Munions, but but he keeps on pounding in, he'll, he'll, he'll keep on running in 100% and then if he can't do it with the ball, he does it with the bat and I think he, he's shown because this is his last series, he's, he knows he's going to finish Test cricket at the end of this series, that he can give it his all, he doesn't have to leave anything in, in, in the locker for, for future series and he's determined to go out on a high with, with an Ashes win. He'll be so desperate won't he, to carry yeah. on for the, for the remaining two games, won't he? Absolutely, I mean like he did at Lords, he said to Andrew Strauss you're going to have to rip this ball out of my, my hand because I, I want to finish this game off, which he did. And he'll be the same for the rest of the series. That how, if he is struggling, he'll, he'll know he's struggling, but, but he'll want to give it his all at, at Headingley, especially at Headingley at Yorkshire, where he's had stick as a Lancashire player over the years. He'll, he'll want to wrap up there with a the victory. Yeah. Of course, talking of Yorkshire, that's where uh, Lancashire, Lancashire have been playing. Uh, yeah. Clash of the Rose is always exciting uh, to watch. They're missing, of course, Andrew Flintoff and Jimmy Anderson, who've that's been right. doing great for England. Yeah. Um, what about that result today for, for Lancashire, considering the form they're in? Yeah, Again, that's a, that's a disappointing result because I was I was there over the weekend and and they were in total command over Yorkshire and and today they went into the into the final day with a great chance of, of putting out a victory which they needed to keep their title hopes alive. Unfortunately, again Yorkshire have just battled through. Yorkshire have had a terrible run. They've, they've not won now in twenty championship games, but they they showed a bit of steel today and um, and I reckon that's Lancashire's ch title hopes out of the window because. The leaders, Durham, have won today and, and, and their streets ahead now. So, Which is a shame for, for of course, Red Rose County fans. Will That's they right. be looking forward, do you think, for, for Flintoff and, and Jimmy Anderson coming back? Yeah, I mean, we probably won't see much of Jimmy again because he's, he's thoroughly in, in the centre of everything England now. So, But next year could be exciting with, with Freddie now not playing Test cricket. There's a lot to sort out as to how many games he'll play for Lancashire because he's still going to play one-day cricket for for England um, and whether his body can cope with the rigours of county cricket because it is his constant game and Lancashire playing 13 days out of 15 at the moment. So they've got to discuss how many championship games that Freddie can play, if any, but it'd be great to see him with the red rose on his shirt and, and doing the stuff for Lancashire. Chris, thank you very much for joining us once Pleasure. again. Keeping an eye on the cricket ball for us, of course.